Just a quick update on certain things while that video is processing. I have it uploading to YouTube right now, and this is the scene we ended with. Uh, but I just wanted to have a little heart-to-heart -heart, uh, with my followers, followers <laughs> here, if I can talk. Um, just a little quick heart-to-heart -heart and a little bit of explanation of what's going on. So, uh, and this has nothing to do with personal life. This has everything to do with what I do inside of any kind of 3D program or whether it's teaching or working on a project for somebody. Um, my channel originally started out as a uh, educational channel for Vue, whether it's any of the versions of Vue that were available at the time. I mostly work in Vue Extreme, and it's such a big, expansive program that there's so much to cover, and I covered quite a bit, but I didn't get around to everything. Not everything I ever wanted to do was recorded and released, but I did hit a few major talking points that I wanted to cover and I got a lot of views from them got a lot of awesome people that came and talked about what they liked in view what they needed help in view and I'm still around to help anybody who needs it for view I'm not going anywhere unless I die knock on wood that I don't I will still talk about view with my followers with anybody who watches my videos if they need the help but with that said I am moving away from Vue. I haven't used it in maybe three and a half, four years, and I've been using almost exclusively Cinema 4D and Octane. That's for everything. For everything I did in Vue, I'm doing in those two programs. I had to go from one program to using two programs, but I own license licenses in both, and I have for a very long time. I've owned a license in Cinema 4D since, like, version 10. And I've been using Octane since it was Octane 1 point something, or even not even 1 point something, like 0 point something. It, it was free at the time. Uh, it was under a different company name. I can't remember what it is at the time, at this time. But I've been using it for such a long time. So I have nice, stable licenses for both. I don't have to worry about getting a membership or a pay-per-year or pay-per-month program. I just have... S static licenses and I'm good with that so I went from one program to two programs to do what I want but they are two highly adaptable programs and I love them I still like Vue I love it it opened up all the doors that have ever been uh, presented to me in the 3d industry and me teaching people how to use 3d programs things like that Vue is where it all started so I give it all the love and appreciation and respect it deserves and I will always be there for people who need help inside of you. I might not know all the latest and greatest things inside of it, but I could always go back and talk about what I've covered or any other thing that might prop, you know, crop up out of the dust, things like that. And I will even try my best to research all the new things if I'm presented with a question that I don't know an answer to for any of the new mechanics inside of you. So... <clears throat> Uh, and I also may even, you know, get a updated version of Vue just so I can continue making assets inside of it because that's what I mostly use it for anyways, is creating, <coughs> sorry, rock assets. Let me get a drink real quick. <coughs> I don't know why my throat is tickly though. <coughs> so anyways, I usually make rock assets, terrain assets, trees, shrubbery, stuff like that inside of Vue. But since the purchase of Speedtree, I don't really need any of that. And I also use ZBrush to create rocks. <clears throat> and I also use Cinema 4D for that as well. I can generate rocks pretty quick in Cinema 4D. I just have to get the right textures. And I also have Blender, which is free. And I can sculpt inside of Blender <clears throat> pretty easily. Wow, sorry. There is just something in my throat. <clears> throat> I don't know what it is. Anyways, I'm going to take a deep breath, <laughs> see if I can clear it out. So I have all these other programs that I'm using, and I've always had them. I just never covered them because a lot of those programs are highly covered by people who know better than me from the top down. It doesn't matter. I don't cover them because people already know them, and I don't want to impede on their parade and and all that and give out bad information or information that's already been covered a million times so that is where we're at so I'm sorry to bring that up on a lot of people um, 
I will still continue to do a lot of 3D art projects and covering a lot of new programs, but for the time being, I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly what I mean from being able to migrate my entire workflow from Vue to Cinema 4D and Octane. And with that said, a typical scene that I would make in Vue consisted of a landscape, trees, sunlight, and clouds. And you can get all of that inside of Cinema 4D with Octane. And that's what I'm going to do. It's going to be the next kind of challenge for me. And we're going to start that in the next video where I will go through creating the landscape we're going to use, creating the scene, creating the assets, and then we're going from there. I might not show you the asset creation because it's kind of boring. Everybody's already done all that. Uh, but I will walk you through creating the landscape probably in World Machine because it's quick, it's easy, I know it really well. And we're going to export it. We're going to import it as a displacement map inside of Cinema 4D, and we're going to go from there. So thank you for the long-winded, boring video yet again, but the next video hopefully will be a little bit more interesting for you all, and we will see you in the next one.